It's July 18th, 2023, and I'm going to make a macro lens video of this, I assume it's a wasp. So let me put the lens back on. I'm wearing a mask despite the heat because in Savannah, Georgia right now, we are getting wildfire smoke from the fires in Canada. So uh, there's nothing really I can show you right now, but you can definitely see the haze in there. And this is... I was nudging the bark. There's the wing. And I can zoom in. Oh. Alright. <laughs> the camera will focus all the way through the wing. That's cool. And this is just with my phone, so it's not... can't really hold it super still. Got some hairs. Got to move back. Some very fuzzy. Let me zoom back out. It's got a tiny little waist. Orange spiky legs. There's the other wing. And I'll flip it over with my ruler gently. Maybe. I need some tweezers, but we don't have any. Oh, it's got a little. Okay, yeah, it's a wasp. I just think their eyes are super cute. Let's see its mouth. like eyelashes on the bottom. Lots of spikes on the legs. Got a so very interesting. It's got a short little antennae. I guess centimeters would be more accurate, so let me. Now I can just take the macro lens off. So, wing spread is about three centimeters. And about two centimeters long. Found this dead on the road, probably because it is 90 something degrees out here. There's smoke from wildfires. Uh, I guess I will touch it gently. But maybe. No, because it's hot, so. Yep. I don't actually have an official bug collection yet. I just have some stuck in a jar. I need to get, like, rubbing alcohol or something to preserve them. But, yeah. So, here's this cool dead wasp that probably died from heat stroke. Alright, and it's... July 18th, 2023, in case I forgot to say that at the start, in Savannah, Georgia. If you see one that's alive, be nice to it. it it's, there's like a 0% chance that it wants to sting you. It's not out to get you. Bye-bye.